Hey everybody, VFubs here with another video. In this video, I'll be doing a comprehensive tutorial on how to hack the Battlecats depending on what device you use. This tutorial will cover how to kick Game Guardian or Termux and set it up for your device on iOS, Android, or even on a computer. This tutorial assumes that the device you use is the only one you have available for hacking. So if you have either an Android or computer, you can use you can use the hack you can use those to hack your main save file on your other device and transfer it back to your main device. An example of this is how I transfer my iOS save file to my, to my computer and hack my save file on there and then transfer it back to my iOS device. So this video will be separated into three different segments. These three segments will be iOS, Android, and on a computer. So without further ado, let me get into explaining on how to do all this. Firstly, I want to talk about if you're on an iOS device and you want to hack on there. If you're trying to hack Battlecats from an iOS device, I have bad news for you. It's practically impossible to do without jailbreaking your device or going through loopholes like that. If you have an Android or a laptop you can use and install stuff on, you can still hack for your iOS device save file and transfer it back to your iOS device after like what I do. But if you don't, I've heard it is possible to get like a Python loader and install Battlecat save file editor onto it and hack from your iOS device. But I have not tried this and I don't know if there's any tutorials online. If you guys want to try to figure that out on your own, wish you the best of luck. That, or if you want, you can add me on Discord, which is VFubs, same profile picture as on here, and I'll, I'll hack whatever you want for a dollar. Next, we are on to if you're on an Android device. If you have an Android device, you can use either Termux or Game Guardian to hack the Battlecats. Battle cats, what fricker. I strongly recommend Termux as it's easier to set up and it's easier to use and it also doesn't require rooting your Android device. To install Termux or Game Guardian, go into your device's browser and search for either Termux APK or Game Guardian APK and install it from a trusted website. I will try to provide a link in the description for those wondering which ones I have used to install both of those from in the past. If you decide to install Termux, I have two guides, one on how to set up Termux from the ground up and install Battlecat Save File Editor, and one on how to use Battlecat Save File Editor to hack the Battlecat specifically. I'll link those two videos in the pinned comment for your use. Because I no longer recommend to hack the Battlecats using Game Guardian, and don't have any guides on how to set it up on my channel, I do not plan on covering it unless a lot of people want me to. It's really risky to hack Battlecats on Game Guardian as there's actually room for user error and it's just generally a lot more confusing and harder to set up. So I do not recommend using Game Guardian. You're on your own if you decide to use Game Guardian. Finally, if you decide to use a computer to hack the Battlecats, you must first install an Android emulator of some kind. I recommend to install LD Player 9 as it's my personal favorite. It's very easy to customize and root and you don't have to go through any loopholes or like any of that nonsense to root your device or install APKs. I'll provide a download link in the pinned comment for you guys to install LD Player 9 and basically you just want to download it onto your computer and set it up and then once you're done with that go into the game store on your emulator and install Battlecats. After that, you can either use Termux or Game Garden to hack the Battlecats. Again, I strongly recommend Termux as it's easier to set up, easier to use, and doesn't require rooting your device. So to install Termux or Game Guardian, you want to go into your Android emulator device's browser and search for either APKs and install it from a trusted website. I'll provide a link in the description for those wondering what websites I have used. And if you install Termux, I have two guides, one on how to set up Termux from the ground up, and one on how to hack the Battlecat specifically using Battlecat's save file editor. 
I'll link those two videos in the pinned comment. And because Game Guardian is rather risky to hack with now, and the anti-cheat has been focusing more and more on it, I do not recommend using it anymore. But if people want me to make an updated guide on how to install Game Guardian root your Android or Android emulator device, I would do it. But I don't I advise that as like a last option if you somehow can't get Turnbox to work. So once you get Turnbox or Game Guardian, you can now use the tutorials on our channel to hack, and that's all. But with just glossing over the three devices and how to hack, I think I should provide you guys with an in-depth tutorial as I rehack my device because I need file items and other stuff. All right, hey everyone, Vfos here. Um, now on my laptop, and I just want to give a basic guide on how to set up everything if you're deciding to hack a on the computer. So first, you want to go to your whatever browser you use and search up an emulator of some kind to install. I recommend LD Player 9 as it's just my personal favorite. It's very easy to use, very easy to root, very easy to set up. I prefer it over BlueStacks because BlueStacks doesn't integrate rooting into the emulator itself. You have to like manually do it, but LD Player 9 it's literally just an option you click and your device is rooted. So just click the download button, download it, set it up, and then from there you want to go, well obviously you want to open LD Player 9. So I'm going to open it right here and hopefully full screen it and not get a gazillion gazillion notifications right all right from here you want to go to termox or well i should probably search about it so when you get on your device you want to go to the google play store on the emulator and then you want to obviously install the battle cats so just search up the battle cats and you can install it on here. It uh, looks like I need to update it. I don't care. I don't have to set it up. You actually don't need to install the Battle Cats unless you have it on, unless you plan on using Game Guardian. So actually, thanks for reminding myself that. You don't have to do that. What you want to do is you want to go to the browser. And let's see, I guess it was on here. You want to search up Termux APK download. I show how to do this on my most recent Termux tutorial. But then you just want to download it from this one up to down. Yeah, this one right here. You want to download it here. Promise it's not a virus. I've had it on my device for a while. And nothing's happened, so that's great. Once you install it, you want to open it. Do whatever you want. And then you want to follow my tutorial on how to set up Turbox, which I don't remember off the top of my head. So I'm going to cut it right here. And I will be right back. All right, future me, I am back. And the command I need to type in because I already should have it installed should be this. Be sure to type it properly. Don't forget the underscore and it's cap. So hopefully this works. Yep, got it. All right. So once you're here, after you've done all that, let's see. I want to download say data from the game using transfer and confirmation code and then my country code i apply on the english version so i'll type en and now i have my thing screenshotted so i'm going to type this in very quick not very quick very slow um shoot i think it's let me just go check i, I can't all right now i'm just going to check you want to make sure you guys get this all right, because obviously, if you hack a save file that doesn't exist, it's, just, it's not going to help you very much. And if you hack for the wrong version, you might mess stuff up. So, actually I can't see it. I'm guessing it's 13.4. I'm just going to guess that, and I think I'm right. 13.4. Um, seems to have worked. Alright, so now you can hack whatever you want. So I'm going to start with items. And I'm going to not hack cat food. I don't recommend hacking cat food. You're most likely going to get banned. XP, I already have like 70 million XP saved. I'm good. Tickets, I don't really want to hack tickets. I'm kind of pretty maxed out. NP, I will hack. Because I ran out. So I'm going to set that to max. 
And you can't, you won't get back for hacking MP. You know if you watch my latest video on what limits the heat. Next is leadership. My leadership's at 9,900. It's hard to run out. But next is battle items. I'm starting to get low. Somewhat low. So I'm going to click select all, which is 7. And then click 9,999. And don't worry about if you gain items. It'll just stay hard locked at 9,999. You won't get banned. So don't worry about that. Cat eyes, I definitely won't run out of. But cat fruit, I actually have run out of. So... Let's see. I'm going to click, th I'm going to type in 30 to select all. And the limit, I would just stick with 99. But you can go 999. So you can always just do it again. But let's see if there are any more items I want to hack. Catamans, I can... I don't think doing that is a bad idea. Eh, I have a lot left, but I'll do it anyways. Oh, whoops. How many do you want to select? Four. See, so it just reminds you. Make six. And there's an enter. See, it says max, so I'm just click the max. And then... I want to see, I'm going to test this really quick, because I want to see if this is possible. So, we can hack, you can hack treasures, you can unlock things, you can clear certain things. I don't want to try any of these, because it might get banned, and also I just want to play the game legit. So I'm just going to click one and go back. But you guys see, you can hack stuff, you can hack treasures in, stuff like that. Let's see, four. So I can, you can upgrade your cats here. You can collect or remove cats, you can true form cats, you can even add talents to cats. Search by, let's see, I just want to try this. Search by cat name, holy. Oh, I don't know if I, let's see, Laz Voss Reborn. Mm. Okay, I wanted to test this out. I want to change his movement speed will increase. So I kinda don't want that. I want to set it to zero, because I kinda regret buying that. So I'm gonna do that. And do I want to hack stats on all of my cats? Um, sure, let's try it out. Talents. Set talent three, max remove all selected cat talents. Three. Do you want to max talents or reset talents? Let's max. And let's select current select cats. Uh, select all cats. Let's select all my cats and max talent them. So now, oh wait, that is a really bad idea because some talents are actually bad for you. Um. Oh gosh. Um, I kind of regret doing that. Some talents actually aren't very helpful, just like the ones I just trying to get rid of. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's just call this a dud. Unless I can go back on it. Can I undo? A oh, seven. Let's try seven. No. No. Not quite what I was looking for. Is there... Can I undo? Can I undo? Hmm. Edit config. One. Eight. Um. Yeah, I kind of... Or getting all towns because some units will get worse, but um, I think I'll be fine. How about because I'm having crisis about this? Let's go, let's go for cats, five talents. Um, let's just think of a few I can think of off the top of my head. So, two, so I'll just get individually. Um, let's. So I search by cat name. Let's go. Chill cat is the first one I can think of. I don't want him to gain the knockback ability. So two. I want to set it to zero because I don't want him to have knockback. And what's another one I can think of? Oh, 
Let's do that again. These kind of you kind of just test whatever you want. So let's set down visually. Let's go search by cat name, and let's go. Last boss reborn. I don't want his movement speed to be increased, so we're going to click three, three, zero. Because I don't want his movement speed to be faster. Don't ask me why. I just don't like it. Makes him mess up. But other than that, I can think. I don't think there's many other negative talents so much. But see now I have all my units talents maxed. And I'll have all that stuff. So now, I'll probably cut out a lot of that. Or maybe just let you guys go through that with me. As you see, sometimes you make mistakes, you gotta figure them out. But, what if I want to get my file back? So, let's save changes and upload to game server. So, I'm gonna save changes and upload to game servers. Oh. Um, whoops, let me... Some... Let me try it again. And hopefully this works. Codes. So now I am going to cut the video to me putting these in on my iOS device and showing you that this in fact works. Alright, so now I'm logging out to my iOS device and opening the Battle Cats. Now I will transfer my data, but I will obviously cut out the part where I type in the codes as I don't want you guys stealing my account. So after I input the codes, I open the device, obviously hiding my inquiry code, and now you can see that everything I've hacked is here. Open a stage, all my battle items are maxed out just like I hacked in. Top of two of to go. And if I decide to check for cats to see what talents they have, every cat I have is now fully talented. No matter what cat, cat I click, all their talents are maxed. Even regardless of the rarity. Let's see, I want to scroll here through Uber. Wow, I have all of them. Amazing. Here's another one. Wow, just amazing. This works like a charm, you won't get banned, and it's just great all around. I check my Gambit Soto, all Catamans, and that's basically the comprehensive guide on how to do all this. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.